great time last night, Eden. I that gotta fun, say yeah. that songwriting class was great. And oh my God, all the Halloween songs, what a difference we got from everybody. It was, we, it was so killer. We killer. I like how you said that. <laughs> and that was well, really fun doing the writing yeah. workshop you were in it and you wrote some really great stuff you wrote this really yeah. beautiful ode to a coffee cup yes it was i was it moved was. i was verklempt oh but, man i know it's, I, it's I, we're I, half we're th again 30 minutes second let's start i need some oh, intro oh, music oh, come on oh, okay oh come okay on. here we go oh. Live from Studio One in the Steel Cow Building, located in historic Wakefield Village, the home of Wrigley's Ice Cream and Johnny Cakes. Eden's guests tonight are. Oh, Eden's guests. I'm sorry, I forgot our sponsor. Eden's oh. show is a Greenhouse <laughs> Entertainment Group production. It is. And I'm Dan Chaka, Eden's announcer. I'm all thrown off, but Eden's guests tonight are going to make it all right. Eden they will. Has three marvelous cabaret singers from all over the U.S. of A. We've got Ethan Edwards from Belleville, Illinois. We've got Nancy Wallingford from Kansas City, Missouri. And we've got Francine Jansen from San Luis, Luis Obispo in California. Spell that three times fast. That's really hard to do it. None of them will be playing Sounds Like a Song because cabaret singers are chickens. However, <laughs> they have given me wonderful suggestions for songs she can sing. And maybe, just maybe, Francine might pipe in on one or two of them. So, without any further ado, here's our fearless leader herself, the wonderful, the spectacular, the ingenue from Ohio, <laughs> the one and only Miss Eden Castile. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me on The Eden Show. This is volume 29. For those of you tuning in from far off places, I am a producer, singer, vocal coach, all around whatever. I am your musical accomplice based in Wakefield, Rhode Island. And that's Dan Chaka. He is my friend, my uh, student, my personal lawyer, and my MC. He is everything. Isn't that great? Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for telling us where you are tuning in from in the chat. We are keeping... Um, abreast of what the chat is going on and it looks like there's already a whole lot of love for francine in the chat it's awesome oh she deserves it awesome yeah awesome. yeah i think she's got a fan club so i think we are smart to bring her along right absolutely yeah. so yeah i have three guests coming in but before we do that right um we're all f veterans of a wonderful cabaret conference where you might have heard something kind of like this let me entertain you let me make you smile first i'll do some few tricks some old and then some new tricks i'm very versatile and if you're real good i'll make you feel good i want your spirits to climb so let me entertain you and we'll have a real good time yes sir we'll have a real good time all right yes from gypsy but it's also a well-known cabaret song and when you start cabaret you start with something that's kind of a general uh, that kind of welcomes people into this space, even into this virtual space. These are the things I learned at the St. Louis Cabaret Conference this summer, where I was one of several students. I, really got, I got to be a student again, Dan. And you were so juiced. That's all you talked about all summer was, oh, my Saturday cabaret class. Oh. It was really fun. And I was one of like seven students. And we got together every weekend. And we got coached by these fantastic people. I just happened to have a picture here. Ta-da, there we are. I'm the one oh, in the green, are. right? Yeah, you yeah, can tell. Of in so, the center. Of in course. the center. Well, yeah, I mean, because, you know, on Zoom, it's all different, right? So, but, and we had to use Zoom, which is the necessary Satan. But uh, we got together and everybody sang such unusual, cool stuff. And we got to be really good friends. So that guy in the middle is Tim, Tim Shaw. He was our fearless leader. And we had four fantastic coaches uh, from Broadway and the world of cabaret. We had Christine Andreas, Faith Prince. We had Karen Mason and Jeff Harner. 
They were all fantastic, and we all learned a lot. So I thought it'd be fun to have some of those uh, performers on my show. So I, because I got to hear them every week for eight weeks, and I heard how great they were. So, but before they get to come on and perform, I get to tell you about what I'm doing. A shameless plug for gigs I play. Some are close, some are far away. Eden's busy, yes, it's true. Shameless plugs from me for you. See them on my website, too. That's EdenCastile.com, boo. All right, so I was trying to make up like, yeah, see, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm making up little theme songs for everything because that way the copyright people don't get you. So, oh, yes, Karen Mason, pride of Arlington Heights, Illinois. Yes, go Illinois. Go Big Ten. I'm from Columbus, Ohio, just so you all know. I'm Midwestern. And what did you ask of Ethan earlier, Dan? You just said it's one of those I states. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are so far, Rhode Island, right? It's just way over here. It's over there on the map, well, right? But once, just... once, you, once you get more than 20 minutes away, it's the other end of the world when you live in Rhode Island. I too am from flyaway territory. So yeah. what can I say? Or flyover <laughs> land, right? Flyover land. Thank yeah, you, uh, Nada Bats, who love my outfit. Thank you. It's from Savers. <laughs> so I, I should do one for Savers too. I get all my best performing outfits from Savers and then I give them back. So thank you, Eddie, very, very much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> So, shameless plugs. What do we have going on? Well, uh, let's see. The Jordan Becker Band on Sunday, Ooh. October 17th, the 6 o'clock at Pump House Music Works. I am uh, keyboards for that. And Jordan is one of my students. And this is his thing, is singing rock and roll music. So one of the cool things I get to do is get to play for students when they do a band gig. So Jordan is doing songs by the Yardbirds, Paul Simon, uh, Pete Townsend, U2, uh, a couple of bands I'd never heard of until he introduced me to them, and it's fantastic. He's so good. So that's going to be a live rock show, live band on Sunday, October 17th at 6 o'clock, the Jordan Becker Band. On Thursday, the 14th, which is actually one week from tonight, there will not be an Eden show because I'm performing live at your favorite place, Dan. Yes, Nickenies at 75 South Street in the spectacular jewelry district in downtown Providence. Never a cover, always live music. And what will you be doing while I'm busy playing with my friends Ed Valley and Marty Ballou? I'll be playing competitive nine ball on the Nickenies nine ball team. That's what he's going to be doing. I'm going to be basically giving a soundtrack for Dan. So when he's sitting there trying to be Jackie Gleason... Or whatever, or Paul Newman, um, right? I like to think I'm more Paul Newman, but I got the build right. of Jackie Gleason. Sort okay. Of. Well, yeah. I mean, either way, you win. So I will give you some wonderful underscoring while you go mm. off and, and do whatever billiard people do. Absolutely. So. <laughs> yeah. Looking, looking forward to it. And all my friends will be there. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it, too. So that's my friend, yeah. uh, Ed Valley. He and I have that group called the Co-Eds. And then we have our friend, Marty Ballou, who'll be playing yes. on bass. So that's going to be next Thursday night, Nick and Nee. So that's Thursday night. Then Sunday is Jordan Becker. And then in November, we have our friend, Eliza Collins, doing her cabaret called Sex and the Older Girl. Uh, we made her, her postcard. That's coming. That's what it looks like. Isn't that great? <laughs> there she is boys and girls so um so one of the fun things about doing the cabaret this summer is that it helped me help create cabarets for my own students so this is eliza's second cabaret and she's written all of the lyrics herself i helped her write the music and we have a live band that's going to be sunday november 14th at pump house in peacedale uh for those people yeah whoa not safe for work i know <laughs> Totally. But she's awesome, guys. She's really awesome. So I don't know if we're going to be able to live stream that or not for those of you who might be watching from outside, but I will see what I can do. So since it's not well, copyrighted, we probably could live stream it, right? It's not. You probably could. And I got to tell you, the first one was unbelievable. Just yes. last summer, uh, just what what a gift she has for writing really, really poignant yet humorous songs. Very Yeah. So yeah. we're all writing now. I mean, yeah. you're going to write, you know, you had your, your lovely coffee cup song. Now we're going to switch you to Halloween. Oh, yeah. And yeah, why not? Right. So I got up I'll this morning so enthused. I looked at everybody's work. I actually jotted some notes down. I've been, I was never excited about writing songs. It was more the collaborate with you and come up with these beautiful things. But um, it was really juiced me. I had a hard time sleeping. I woke up early. And before I started my miserable day of work, <laughs> I actually I actually went through the lyrics. It was quite an experience. Really appreciate it. You know, another shameless plug, as exciting mm -hmm. as 
you doing the cabaret with all your colleagues, mm -hmm. anybody, please, next time Eden offers one of these songwriting workshops, you got to try one. They're just, she can make anybody a songwriter. If I can do it, you can do it. I can make you a songwriter yes. viewer at home. Yes. So it's yes. fun too. It's just really fun. And it's, it's a way of being creative. It's a safe way to be creative. Uh, and you can perform you know, live at an open mic. You can do live streams. Yeah, Stephen says, agreed, because Stephen wrote a wonderful song that was on Peace Dale Hayride Volume 2, shameless plug, called Go With The Float, <laughs> right? So yes. and it, we wrote that together. That was super fun. This whole album, I'm going to put it up again, is all songs written by my students, co-written with me. I did the arrangements and the production, and that's available on Bandcamp.com. So, uh, yeah, so writing is fun. It's a super fun way to be creative. If you're not good at embroidery, try songwriting. That's what I say. Doesn't matter how old or young you are. We had <laughs> high school students and octogenarians and everybody in between. That's right. And, that's right. Yeah. Everybody, yeah, that was quick, right? Everybody has songs to sing. Yeah, don't try live streaming. Live streaming is just going to break your heart. But write a song. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> totally. You can do that. So, but no, I love live streaming. I love talking to all you guys. And I have said it probably so many times over the past couple of months. That is reason 7,981 why I live stream yeah. is I get to talk with y'all. I get to, to see people who normally I wouldn't get to play for like the three who are singing tonight. Yeah. And it's, it's joyful for me. It's really, really fun. Oh yeah. Robin says writing affects your sleep. She ought to know. I would tell so, you, you're right, Robin. I didn't realize it till last night. I got mm -hmm. very little sleep because I had these thoughts that just kept, we shut off at, what time do we shut off at? Nine mm -hmm. o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And God, I couldn't get it out of my head. It was awesome. Just awesome. Actually, maybe I'll remember that. I'll do that. Like we'll do like breakfast writing next time or something like that. Yeah, so. do it before we go to work. So right. what, what happened on this day in history, Eden? On what this happened? day in history. Well, let's see. I'm so glad you asked. On this day in 1849, Edgar Allan Poe died in Baltimore at the age of 40. Quote, Quote the, raven. the raven. Maybe he should have had a vaccine. There. You know what? <laughs> you know what? In 1954, Marian Anderson became the first black singer hired by the Metropolitan Opera in New York nearly 20 years after she stood at the steps of the Lincoln Monument and sang outside. Yes. The lesson from that is good things come to those who work really hard and are incredibly talented. <laughs> true. Not really funny, but very true. Not, not very really funny, true. but very true. I can't say good things yeah. come to those who wait because she waited plenty long enough for that. Plenty long. Too long. I'm too too long. long. Yeah. yeah. And she had her, and she talked about it in her autobiography, which I read, called My Lord, What a Morning. And she talked uh, about that whole experience. She was class personified, Miss Anderson. So yay. she really was. She yeah. really was. So now totally on the opposite side of that. In 2003, Arnold Schwarzenegger became governor of California. As? as as the voters said, hasta la vista <laughs> to Governor Gray Davis in a recall election. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it's history, people. <laughs> we, we have some birthdays, too, Eden. We Did do you know have some Vladimir? birthdays. Yes, there we go. He gets minor. Anyway. Did, did you know that Vladimir Putin is 69 years old today? <laughs> he made it to 69. Good for him. We yeah. just hope he didn't get anything he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that today is also Simon Cowell's birthday? He is 62. Really? His teeth seem like they're only seven or eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> and his lungs, his lungs are 108. <laughs> All right. Nobody's going to well, hire us for our joke ability, but they no, might like we're the trying. Singing. We're trying. Yeah. yeah. They might like the singing. And on this day, in October 7th, 2021, we had three fantastic singers on the Eden show. I'm going to bring them all in right now. One, Ooh. two, and Ooh. three. <laughs> Yes, you now heard all of my Shecky Green, right? That's as good as it gets, <laughs> boys and girls. So welcome to the Eden Show. We are glad you, you are here. So I don't know where it is in relation for everybody else, but Francine, wave your hand from California. Good. Nan Nancy, wave from Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> Great. And Ethan from Illinois. Yay. I'm so glad Yay. you guys are here. Thanks for having and us. Yes. We are too. 
Dan's going to go to the green room so you all can get a little bigger. Okay, Okay. Dan, have fun in the little boys' room. Bye. Bye, Dan. (laughs) Friends, it is so good to see you. Thank you. Good to be here. It sure is. We spent so much time together over the summer singing with each other and having a wonderful time. And that's where I got to know all of you better. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm going to do is each of you are going to be singing tonight. I'm going to be playing for you live. Mm -hmm. And we rehearsed beforehand. We did all this. It looks like you have some people who are already saying hello. I see a lot of claps. So Francine, Natabats? Natabats? Natabats, yes. Is saying A granddaughter. Oh, really? (laughs) Family. Oh, wonderful. Tracy? Yes. Yeah. Tracy yeah. said, love Tracy Mr. Was the, yes, he was the administrator of our cabaret program at Cuesta College in San Luis Obispo. Oh, that's uh-huh. wonderful. Yes, he was great. Yeah, And in fact, see this shirt? Yes. yes. He made this shirt. Good job. It says Cabaret 805. Cool. That's uh, cool. <laughs> so, that is our area code. That's the area code in San Luis Obispo where you are, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Good. All right. You and get a to- beer. I think there's a beer. <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> Absolutely. So Francine <laughs> is singing last. And our, our, yeah, but she's going to talk the most. Yeah. So lucky you. So Ethan's going to sing first because he actually has a rehearsal to go to tonight. That's right. Right. Because, you know, as cabaret folks, we just we're busy people. So I'm going to put Francine and Nancy in the green room. Okay. And Ethan, it's you and me, friend. Hey, it's I'm so, so excited. great to be here, Eden. Yeah, absolutely. Is- so you've done, you did, have you done the St. Louis Cabaret Conference prior to when I met you? Yeah, I've done it a number of years. I did it actually before it went virtual. Mm-hmm. And, and then I've done it last year and then this, which we're both online. And, you know, I'm sort of a cabaret conference junkie because I just love the chance to sing and meet people and, well, as you know, the experience of getting, you know, singing up together on that Saturday, mm-hmm. we learn so much from hearing other people and, and working with these coaches that it's just a magnificent thing. Yeah, it really was great. And I, I've never had the fun of doing the in-person one, but the <clears throat> virtual was still so good. I learned so much from uh, from each of our instructors, and it was great to hear everybody just, you know, share different music. And you always share this really cool stuff. <laughs> You do. Well, As, yeah. <laughs> I do have a different uh, <laughs> taste, I think, than many people who do cabaret. Um, <laughs> I just love movie music from obscure musicals. <laughs> and so a lot of times those are the songs I bring forward. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of cabaret is being very emotional and being <laughs> very true to, to feelings and, and great songs. And I love that as well. But I... Nothing beats an up tempo. <laughs> this is true. So we're gonna figure out how we do an up tempo while I play live. We, even though we have a delay from <laughs> Illinois and back, we make adjustments, but we're doing pretty well. And Andrew is saying Ethan's like a chocoholic, but for cabaret. <laughs> I can think of no higher praise. I think that's really great. So this song is called "I Got oh. Out of Bed on the Right Side," right? That's right. All right. It's so from the mo- It's from an Esther Williams movie, actually, from <gasps> "Dangerous When Wet." Dangerous when wet. And the lyrics are Johnny Mercer. The music is Arthur Schwartz. <clears throat> oh, I got out of bed on the right side. On the bright side. On the light side. I got out of bed on the right side. And I'm having a wonderful day. I say a duet with the rooster. I'm a booster for the rooster. But he doesn't crow like he used to. Couldn't handle my yodely Who cares if the sun ain't shining? My eggs are beaming, sunny side up. And as for that silver lining, my coffee's steaming, money side up. When they rolls around to the night side, if I still seem on the bright side, I don't want to sound on the trite side, but I figure it happened this way. I got out of bed on the right side, and I'm having a wonderful day. Who cares if the sun ain't shining? My eggs are beaming sunny side up. And as for that silver lining, my coffee's steaming, money side up. When they rolls around 
to the night side If I still seem on the bright side I don't want to sound on the trite side But I figure it happened this way I climbed to the dizziest heights I found the big heights I out of sight side I got out of bed on the right side And I have a wonderful Yep, we are, we did jazz hands oh, online, yeah. right? <laughs> yes, musical songs are the best songs. Absolutely. Where did you find this song? Well, I saw it. I watched these movies. Uh-huh. <laughs> As a little kid, I would stay up and watch the midnight movie here in St. Louis. I, I live in Belleville, Illinois, which is in very far southern Illinois, across the river from St. Louis. So mm-hmm. I always watch the St. Louis TV channels and used to have this thing called the Bijou Picture Show that the came picture. on at 1 a.m., And for some reason, when I was in grade school, my mother let me stay up, (laughs) even during the week. And so I would be up (laughs) watching these these Esther Williams movies at one o'clock in the morning. (laughs) And these they imprinted on me. And I just I just love the joy and the cleverness and the and the rhythm. And that's what that's what I love to sing. I, I do other things as well, but that's where I find all those. Oh, good. Somebody says that end note. Yes, coordination is surprising. Good. Thank you, Andrew. Yes, we work at this. So we, we did a lot of practicing uh, in the week leading up to this to test a tech, all that fun stuff, right? Yeah. So the tech is not easy, but uh, but when you get to have people like Ethan on and get him to sing live, you'll do anything, right? I will do yeah. anything to get to play for guys like you. Oh, Stephen says he watched Benny Hill at night instead. Uh-huh. <laughs> Me too. Right. So and Stephen, yeah, we uh, we had this guy named Fritz the Night Owl. That was our late night movie guy. What's really nice about this, you asked about my experience with the cabaret conference. Yes, I've just I've loved working with some of uh, with all the teachers. But one of my heroes is Billy Stritch. And um, I have a a story with that song I just did. And it's one of the thrills of having these obscure gems that I brought it out. And Marilyn May actually was coaching and, and Billy was playing the piano. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I sang that, and they both just lit up with joy in that, well, Billy had never heard it before. Marilyn did know it, but hadn't heard it for years. And they just were so delighted to hear something like that. And, um, and so it's sort of cool to have introduced the number to Billy Stritch, who probably knows everything in the universe. Yes, and, you, you get a gold star for that. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah, so anyway, that's, that's, um, that's a very warm place in my heart for that song. Um, and because it really, it really united me with Marilyn too. I'm, she's a, such a dear soul and we're actually quite good friends from those experiences, but she always mentions <laughs> my version of that song as being something she remembers. So I hope it came across okay. It's very different here in this environment, but it's, a, it's very different and you have to make adjustments, you know, for singing for what you can hear. And I make adjustments for what I can hear, but the key for live streaming, if any of you ever try this is you just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> right. So everything they tell you about, you got to listen to everybody around you that barely applies in the live stream world. You kind of just go and I could kind of see out of the corner of my eye. I'm hearing you in my headphones like that. That's yeah, really I- the rule. And I had to not watch your hands because they were on a beat that I couldn't be singing on. <laughs> right, right. And the only reason, boys and girls, I'm showing you my hands is to show you I'm playing live. Yeah. That's really So that way you don't think that like I'm doing karaoke and I just like have fake hands or something. But no, I'm really playing. I'm really listening. And the delay isn't too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. And we're not doing anything special. If you've seen my show before, the last few weeks, I've been doing a lot of special audio work. I live streamed with two uh, friends from Germany a couple of weeks ago, and then last week was South Carolina. But we decided for this that the kind of songs you're doing and the way we're doing them, we didn't have to do any terribly special audio. Mm-hmm. So, but if you were doing, say, an entire cabaret concert online, you would upgrade the audio. Yeah. So, and that's doable. So, congratulations. Yeah. Well, in the process of, of becoming a cabaret junkie, um, there's just so many aspects of this that are so great for those of you who are maybe new to cabaret, um, you know, just the the opportunity to communicate genuinely um, and truthfully. And that's, you know, that's a lot of what we get from our coaching is looking for the real meaning and what, why do we have to sing that song at at that time? And um, so that it's just great. And so I've, I've gotten, you know, from not ever doing this as a 
youngster. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I've directed some shows and I play the cello. And so I've actually gotten to play cello with different performers, which is actually a, is a wonderful treat um, to, to get those kind of, you know, you get really great creative arrangements as Eden does and other artists do. And, and it's, you get a new view of a song you've heard a million times. And that's sort of what I think is such a turn on for this as well. It really is. And so you mean you've had, you know, theater experience, but you're moving more into kind of theater plus cabaret. Yeah. And everything else. You have rehearsal tonight, right? Yeah, actually, that's an orchestra rehearsal. I play in the St. Louis Philharmonic and we're having a big concert tomorrow. So I have to go rehearse pictures at an exhibition. Fun. <laughs> and, 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 and actually, one of my very favorite pieces in the world, which is Academic Festival Overture by Brahms. That always feeds my soul. And so we're doing that tonight. So I have to run over to uh, St. Louis for that rehearsal. So, you know, you did your online gig. You go over to your rehearsal. You that's come right. back, you have a little whiskey. You're good night. That's, a, that's just the way it goes. That's, that's a night. Yeah. yeah. He also <laughs> cooks incredibly well. And he puts pictures of his food porn on his social media. So you should check out Ethan Edwards. Uh, available on Facebook or anywhere you are. St. Louis friends. Just, you know, maybe he'll bake you a cake if you're lucky. So, but just saying, call me. Yeah, that's right. But <laughs> Thank I'll, have you. To put, I'll have to pack it in dry ice and send it your way. <laughs> yeah. Or so, we'll just get together and we'll be at the next Cabaret Conference together. That's right. We'll well, I can't out. wait to be in person with you sometime, Eden. It's just such a delight to know you and to work with you and it's thank you so much for inviting us here Absolutely. and I'm, I'm just so sad that i have to take off but um, that's right you'll see the other half later so everybody wave ethan if you thought he did a great job tell him <laughs> so and also subscribe to my channel okay <laughs> that's how you can tell ethan you love him by subscribing to my youtube channel it's really that simple so see I added <laughs> yeah, that on there there. Right there. yeah that's how i do it okay thank you ethan have a great okay. rehearsal thank you so much right. bye 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 isn't that fun? He's so great. That was what all of the weeks were like. It was really fun. So now I'm going to bring in our second singer, Nancy. Hi. 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 For all the way from Kansas City, Missouri. Right. Right. That's so cool. And you you have to go to rehearsal too, I know. Well, so we to... no, I'm going to a play on the grounds of our art gallery. So. Oh, fun. Yeah. You all get to do really cultural fun stuff. This is so cool. We have a lot of that here. People wouldn't think it, but we do. This is yeah. great. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You've done the, um, oh, my Epic Cam seems to be having a problem. So I'm going to switch to a different camera. You can't see me, right? Not now. No. Yeah. So I'm going to put on the less sexy camera. Okay. But yeah. So it must make me look as good, but it'll be fine. <laughs> what can I say? So yeah, no, this is this is the fun of live streaming, boys and girls, is that sometimes things go wrong and you have to adjust really fast. So now I instead mm -hmm. of looking here, I just look a little bit over and I don't have that wonderful anti-aging thing that the other camera has. But I can You look great. Thank you. That's so Nancy. It's so wonderful. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so how many times had you done the the cabaret conference? I've actually been there in St. Louis three times. Wow, really? Right. And uh, it's just been such a growth experience for me. Uh, the first time I was very afraid. I've always mm -hmm. sung in groups, but I've never performed just me. And it takes, um, takes time to come out of yourself, you know. Absolutely, it does. Mm -hmm. and, and you do cabaret, but you also do kind of... When we, people think of cabaret songs, they think maybe like Ethan, where it's something from a musical, right. or a movie musical. But uh -huh. really, cabaret is a giant field of music. It's just songs it with lyrics that you like mm -hmm. and that you feel you can do something with. So I asked you to sing this song because I heard you sing it this summer, and it's one of my okay. favorites. I just loved how you did it. Okay, great. So this is from, what, 1955, 56? I'm not quite sure. Mm, Sammy Kahn, I think, wrote it, so... Okay. Around so, there. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. call it mid-50s. Teach okay. me tonight. All right. Did you say I've got a lot to learn? Well, don't think I'm trying not to learn. Since this is the perfect spot to learn. Teach me tonight. Starting with the ABC, I'll be right. 
If a shooting star goes by, I'll use that star to be right. I love you a thousand times across the sky. One thing it isn't very clear, my love. Should the teacher stand so near, my love? Graduations are most dear, my love. Teach me tonight. And if we were on stage, you'd be looking over at the piano player going, give me a tip. <laughs> And you'd be showing off your cool shoes or whatever you're wearing. Rich. The sky's a blackboard above you. If a shooting star goes by, I'll use that star to write, I love you. Taps across the sky. One thing it isn't very clear, my love. Should the teacher stand so near, my love? Graduations are most near, my love. Teach me to know. Graduations almost here, my love. Keep me tonight. Oh, that was so fun. I love it is fun. I love that song. Thank you so much for doing this, really. My pleasure. I mean, yeah, okay, ulterior motive is that if I get all these cabaret singers on my show, then I want all the other cabaret singers who are watching you guys do this. Number one, I want you on this show. Number two, I want you to perform in your area in a live stream, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Because there's still a lot of places where it's not totally safe to perform live right now, or the venues can't do it, you know, for whatever reason. There's just a whole bunch of reasons why it's not practical to do it all the time. But this is a way you can perform live. It is. And connect with people. Yeah. And connect with people. And then when, uh, you know, pandemic's over, God willing, uh, this is still a really fun way to get to perform together, which is why I do it. Yeah. So sometimes I have live stream guests who live, you know, two streets over, but we decide that live streaming is better for us for whatever reason. You know, I just, Uh I I just don't feel like putting on the nice shoes. I don't know. So this is viable, but it's so fun to get to sing for players in Missouri and California and Illinois and Germany. I mean, really, I love my life. It's just great. Oh, good. Steven says, yeah, it could be fun to do. Oh, and Nada Bass says, Nancy's voice is beautiful. That oh, sounded thank amazing. You. Thank you. Yeah, you're getting all the comments. I, so you have to go ahead. I had a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank everybody. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Nancy. Have a great time at the Art Museum. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. She's going to learn something tonight, right? So instead of teach me tonight, it's like learn me tonight. No, it's teach me tonight. We can totally do that. All right. Thank you, Nancy. This is great. So yeah, uh, I love being able to turn like, you know, early rock hits into to cabaret material. That's the thing I also learned is that anything can be cabaret material. But there are some songs that are just super great. So um, and then that were like built for cabaret. And uh, we're gonna have one of those now as well. So let's bring in Francine from California. Hi, Hi. Francine. Hello, Eden. And Thanks the- for having me on the show. Absolutely. So I've seen you. Cabaret 805 
was yes. um, the creation of Grant? Grant. It was a brainchild of Grant Everett Crowell, mm -hmm. who um, started actually, I don't know, at least 10 years ago, started, we had, didn't have any cabaret in our town. We had a little bit of community theater mm -hmm. and he started at these little uh, cabaret performances in little restaurants or different ways around town. And then he had the brainstorm of, of collaborating with community, um, the community college and developed the Cuesta College cabaret program and class. And so that's how I met him. And this from is Grant. A little, from Grant. And he also um, was in our St. Louis cabaret this summer. But actually, I was, he was the, I guess, the, the wind between, beneath my wings in getting me involved with cabaret and also with the St. Louis cabaret. In fact, if it weren't for him, I probably w was a little bit too chicken to join in. It was, seemed like too, too, too large because it was the whole country people. And I was just new to cabaret, and this was just about four years ago. And since then, little by little, with his encouragement, I've been branching out, and here I am on line with you, yeah. which is so exciting. But unfortunately, in our, we had a wonderful class this summer, and about, oh, three quarters of the way through the program, Grant got very ill, and he, had a, he got better, and we were all excited. He came back to to class and we were all excited and it made us, it bonded the whole group of us together. Yeah. And that's why we feel very close. And um, and then after he got better and he did some crazy things, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but for his rehab, he had to walk up and down, I guess the, <laughs> yeah. the hallways. But he, one day he came in and he had high heel shoes on and he didn't walk in his, along the, what do they call that? The, yeah, like the rehab the, hallway. The rehab. Yeah, we have. But what do you, you know, when you're in a model, you're on the. the he was on the catwalk. He was catwalk. strutting. He was strutting. He was strutting. He looked gorgeous. His <laughs> pants rolled up, <laughs> and he was a he. And he came back to us and taught us many, many things about life, about love, his, and his. You know, his heart was as it's open anyway, but opened up for us all, and um, then sadly. A couple of weeks later, he passed away. Mm -hmm. And so um, this is a man who lived in San Luis Obispo, actually in, in Morro Bay, which is a large bay in our, you might have even heard of it, people here. Mm -hmm. But um, he decided he was going to move back to Portland, Maine. Um, and that was just six months ago. And he wanted to move there because, well, he thought he was moving there. Right. to be closer to New York so he could be um, closer to Broadway, his love, because he was an actor, he was a singer, he was a collaborator, he was a people joiner, joining people together to build creative projects. He was an artist. I can't say how many things he did. He worked at the Burn Center in Los Angeles and created a... Uh, I don't know, a, a, a garment that will help ease people's pain when they've burned. He, he, he did thought big and he had wonderful ideas. He moved to, um, to Maine. He said he wanted the change of seasons. Huh. And uh, we had a going away party for him. I think it was in May. And I, in this party, we had, we had a cabaret, of course, and we sang songs to him and, this particular one was meant for him, which I sang to him and wishing him well, but also missing him and knowing that oftentimes we say, let's catch up another time, but we often don't have the time or life gets in the way. And this, is, this was this song, little did I know that it would have a larger meaning. Where has the time all gone to? Haven't done half the things we want to. 
Oh well, we'll catch up some other time. This day was just a token to many words. Are still unspoken. Oh, well, we'll catch up some other time. Just when the fun is starting, comes comes the time. For parting, but let's be glad for what we had and what's what's to come. Oh, there's so much more embracing yet. To be done, but time is racing. Oh well, oh well, we'll catch up some other time. Just when the fun, just when the fun is starting. Time for parting, but let's be glad for what we had and what's to come. Ooh, there's so much more embracing. Yet to be done, but time is racing. Oh well, we'll catch up some other time. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. Thank you for everything and everything you've taught us. He would have been on the show. Tonight. He would have been amazing on this show. Yeah. So true. Yeah, he was a, a, a great singer and a, a great teacher. And he said, um, one of the things, I wrote down something you said that I could say that his passion was to teach others the thrill of music and have fun. And um, we did. We had fun in his class. And it did go on online. We had a, a, a Zoom class for a to as we stumbled along with technology, but we didn't make it through. <laughs> we didn't have it together as much as you do, but we did stumble through. And there was some really and hard, long hours with a lot of his crew, a lot of the people that he did. We did have some great piano players in our our live cabarets, which were really fun. That helps. It really does help. It will help. So yeah, I mean, during those seven weeks, I played for myself. And then the rest of you used tracks and my fingers itched every time because I so wanted to be able to play for all of you the way I knew I did on this show. But tracks also have their place. And so if you are a cabaret person looking at this and thinking, how does she do this? Right. And by the way, people are like raving about what you did. So oh. that's great. And Grant, thank is, you, everybody. Yeah. I have some family in there. I have a Natabat is a granddaughter and she is a fan. I love her. We love okay. her. Yes. Thank you, Natabat. <laughs> we and love Natabat. 
Yeah. <laughs> and yes, and I think Grant would be really, really happy uh, you know, to know that we're doing this and that you're keeping singing. That's the most important thing. Oh, he would have flipped if I stopped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's so we're not going to let you me stop. Along. Yeah, not, he is. Yeah. <laughs> He's totally pushing you along. And so that is a really good thing. Thank and uh, yeah, everybody's saying, oh, this is so great. And yes, you're I right. Know. I'm thanking Thank you, you so all, much. people. Mwah, I love you. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <sighs> My Sing. first fans. Uh, yes, your first fans. <laughs> and now yeah. you got more. You okay. got more. Right. That's good. Right. <laughs> you totally do. Yes. Aww. And Tracy's saying Grant would be very proud of you. Oh, and he would that's going to make me cry. Yeah. He, so was we, my, we, he was my good friend. But I mean, he wasn't just a teacher. We became very good friends. Yeah. We shared a lot. Yeah. And I wanted to say there's gonna there's a, um, uh, not a, what do you call it, scholarship fund that's going to be starting at Cuesta college here in, in uh, San Luis Obispo for um, students that are entering the music and singing and hopefully cabaret um, and the future. So we're going to be, that's going to be coming together by, I think the school administrator or the administrator of the community programs is putting that together. His first name is Wes. Sorry, I don't know. His, I can't remember his last name, but We'll put information anyway. in the show notes when we have that. So th okay. th this program lives on YouTube forever, and it lives on my Facebook channels. And if you want to see the rest of them, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Thank you. So, <laughs> okay. uh, but you can see more. So I do this show almost every week, and there's always information down below about what we talk about. So I'll make sure that when we have those scholarship information, it gets in there. So that way, every time somebody watches this, they get to know how wonderful Grant is and they get to know um, how to donate to that scholarship. Mm -hmm. So that will happen. Oh, somebody wrote down here, the scholarship fund is being established in memory of Grant. I didn't use those words, okay. but I wanted to say that. That I, I didn't say it, but I yes, it's a yeah. memory of Grant. And when we have information about where that will be and how you can donate, we'll make sure that we pass that on. So the cabaret world is not that big. So the information should get around pretty quickly, mm -hmm. I think, right? Yes, that would be wonderful. Yes, wonderful, Thank Francine. You. Grant is smiling somewhere. He absolutely is. Oh, yeah. It He's would probably be. saying, hey, you could wear this, you could wear that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Always yeah. managing, always producing. I could tell that about him. Absolutely. Always bringing people together yeah. he would, to make something out of that. He found the strength in other people and brought them together. And that's and actually he was, yeah, he was doing that till the very end. He really was. That's for sure. And that's the great thing about cabaret, boys and girls, is that uh, you get to do that. You get to share something that has a lot of personal meaning. But like you said, it changed for you. Um, you know, one time for Grant this way, one time another way, and everybody's saying, oh, I want that song, <laughs> right? So it mm -hmm. is a, a song by Comden and Green, right? Betty Comden and Al Green called Some Other Time. Well, and I, it, yeah, that's what it says here. Does it really? Well, do you know who wrote it was um, Leonard Bernstein. Oh, is this from? Um, it's uh, from On the, the Town, On the Town. written okay. in 1944, and... There was a uh, movie made after it, after that, but Leonard Bernstein was one of his first um, creations and didn't do a very, the, the play didn't do that well, <laughs> but he did. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I was not expecting to cry today. Oh, then we, I'm glad we've done our job. We totally <laughs> have. Did. That's Aww. good. Yeah. We try to make people cry. So Aww. it's it's not in the cabaret Aww. handbook, My but it should be. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the thing is to, uh, cabaret brings us together and we, find the common humanity, the common um, connection to one another, because we all experience some of those things and we can identify with each other. And that's why I love it. And actually what I was doing before I did this, I was a psychotherapist. So it's very much the same is connecting and being very present. And that's one of the things I enjoyed watching people grow from the very experience of learning and having a voice. Mm -hmm. and saying and being um, just being present with their audience and being with themselves, that's healing in itself. Yeah. So I saw some wonderful, um, I just uh, transformation. And I won't even say, you know, it was in people, it was just wonderful. Yes. In that class and in our class too. I mean, mm -hmm. we just even that experience we experienced with uh, Grant was really marvelous and how we bonded over that and found each other. Yeah, we still do. I don't know. I think it's be a very special, very 
It was a so. really fun group. And actually, I got to see um, one of our uh, teachers, Christine Andreas, was performing at 54 Below Christine. slash Feinstein's. So, yes. and that was one of our other uh, cabaret friends, Mary Catherine Ward. And actually, Mary Catherine's going to be my guest on the Eden Show on November 11th. Yeah, Thursday, November 11th. So we're both <coughs> going to meet up in New York the night before and go see Jeff Harner. One of our other teachers, who you just saw perform. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you're in so for a treat. We're seeing that same show. Okay, and going. then I'm going to take the red eye or whatever and get home. And then Mary Catherine will get to bed at a decent hour. And as she's driving back to Boston where she lives, she's going to stop in Rhode Island and come sing live on my show. So I'm super excited. Wow. Yeah. But we had a lot of fun. She's a, she is really talented. She has a beautiful voice. Yes, absolutely. As you do. Thank you. Um, it's, it's, it's really fun. I've done, you know, opera, musical theater, but cabaret is just this whole other wonderful animal, right? It's just so different. And mm -hmm. we've done really beautiful, fun songs tonight, but now we're going to do silly. So you get silly. And Francine, do you want to be part of this? Sure. You want to do it? Are I'm you in for it. Yeah. She's, she's yeah. in for a penny, in do for a pound. Once. Right? Yeah, okay. she'll do anything once. Okay. <laughs> so we are now going to play this game, boys and girls, called Sounds Like a Song. Where what we do is we come up with a song based on your title. So in the chat, you may give us some title information. We'll just do a few tonight. Oh, but well. should we start with yours, the one that you gave? Oh, I don't know. I bet you that our audience will come up with better titles. I don't know. This what is, do you think? This is a banger. This is pretty good. It's, so okay. Francine's title is Earplugs Make the World a Better Place. <laughs> and this is because she has brand new earbuds and Ooh. she she has been working really hard to work on her tech to be ready for tonight. And it paid off in dividends. Huge. So <laughs> earplugs make the world a better place. So what I'm going to do is do the first part of the song. And then if it inspires you to want to add on, you just go ahead. Okay? okay. So I'm going to start with kind of a bossa. When I'm working on my live stream I pay attention to my face <laughs> I pay attention to the music But I need something in my space I gotta solve the echo problem that comes when you live stream from a long distance. The echo is a problem, but I have the solution. Earplugs make the world a better place. Yes, they do. Earplugs make the world a better place. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Put them in. Yeah, in the left. <laughs> Put one in the right. I think, I think I'll wear my ed plugs tonight. Yes, you did it! Okay. Yay! <laughs> that is sounds like a song. That is it. <laughs> right? Okay. It is so not rocket science. But look at you. You just like pick up stuff right this is okay. what i think is fun right and you can only do this live it's not nearly as much fun if you do this and then you put it on tiktok like oh look i just did this no you didn't no, just do right? that you, you post for hours right yeah, it's okay. this is this is spontaneous this is okay. important okay so here's the next one this was ethan's suggestion <laughs> because okay. ethan is a foodie so swiss chard for breakfast okay we have to write a song called swiss chard for breakfast Okay. Let's see here. You want to start? Oh, that's great. Okay. Swiss chard for breakfast, mine. <laughs> Something. <laughs> it's said to be a German song. For breakfast, for lunch. I had Swiss chard for dinner, and it made me much thinner. <laughs> <laughs> because Swiss no one should have Swiss chard to munch. To munch, right. If, uh, if I, I, spinach <laughs> and collards will do, won't do. But I put them into a stew. But I 
rather uh, eat veggies than what? Then, yep. Nothing rhymes with veggies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to throw Swiss chard in my hedgie. Veggies. And I'll just eat a McMuffin or two. Or two. Very good. Yay. Right. Good job. That was Swiss chard for breakfast. That's going to be on the hit parade. Okay. All right. Last one. Nancy's suggestion. <laughs> Portuguese caves. Portuguese caves. Put those things there. Oh, yeah. Vegetables. All right. So back to the bossa. I guess if we're going to do Portuguese, I guess. Okay. When you go to Brazil, you got to get yourself into the cave. <laughs> so you don't get sunburned. <laughs> when you go to Brazil, go deep inside the Portuguese caves. It's dark. It's dark. That's where they keep the ugliest men <laughs> in the Portuguese caves. Caves. So they don't bother any of the pretty ladies on the beach. <laughs> Keep your men um, in the caves. The cave. Wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wedgie likes a veggie. That's good. We're on the oh, yeah. Watch out. Eat those caves. <laughs> <laughs> Done. All right. <laughs> yeah, we that was a hard one. That was a hard one, right? Yeah. So that that's, sounds like a song. It is a wonderfully shambolic thing. I love to do sound like a song because I just love to see people come up with stuff on the spot. It makes me super happy. <laughs> and nobody does it. You can't do it right. And so it's fun to watch people try to get it wrong. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Nothing rhymes with veggies except wedgie. And so we're, we yeah, do what we, we can. Yeah, we got somebody. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we, we Chad got somebody. found wedgie over there. Right. Well, how about, do we have time to have the audience pick a Yes. How song? about if we do this one, Nothing Rhymes With Veggies. That's our new song. Nothing oh. Rhymes With Veggies. Veggies. Nothing Let's Rhymes. See. Okay. We'll do it like one of those four chord songs. Oh, yeah. Nothing Rhymes. Oh, you want to go more? Yeah. That's okay. Da, 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 da. No, nothing rhymes with the veggies. I mean nothing, just nothing rhymes with veggies. Tomato doesn't rhyme with veggie. It rhyme, it doesn't, doesn't rhyme with veggie. Eggplant doesn't rhyme with veggies. <laughs> Neither does apricots. Cauliflower. And lettuce. Nothing rhymes with veggies, but you got them, eat them anyway. Some people only eat them. That's all they eat all day. Just veggies. They're really smart at eating. We could be <laughs> like them. They're probably very healthy, but so are we. And so nothing rhymes with veggies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Except wedgies. Except wedgies. <laughs> there, Chris, thank you so much for and that Chad. sterling contribution. <laughs> Whoa. Any vegans in the audience? <laughs> they could yeah. probably think of a lot of things that rhyme with veggies. They could. Yeah. I have to figure out a way of like, get it, except, <laughs> except berries. <laughs> yeah. 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 You guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's super fun. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what that song is. Sounds like a song is like. So yeah, but try to avoid a wedgie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very that's good. better. 
That's right. Yes. Eat your veggies, avoid the wedgies. All of that is really important. (laughs) Very important information. Thank you. We've learned something. I feel like we've grown as people tonight. (laughs) We've learned things. We've learned. We've learned. So um, if you want more information about the 2021, you know, the cabaret conferences and the things that they're doing here, I'll give that plug, more shameless plugs. But this one is on behalf of Tim, who's a great guy. And he's been putting this together. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? I thought I queued that up somewhere. I queue it up. I can't find it. There it is. Okay, good. So information about St. Louis Cabaret Conference.com. Uh, there's a bunch of live shows that they have happening. I think those are starting up pretty soon. And boy, I wish they could live stream, but not everybody yeah. can. And there's good reasons not to. 54 Below Feinstein's does live stream occasionally, which is awesome. So, uh, but do check out the St. Louis Cabaret Conference.com. And then, you know, fingers crossed, we get to be live there next summer and that would be really really fun we learned so much mm. oh that would be fun yeah i remember yeah. just yeah I, lo- I loved what each one of the um the teachers said to us and the encouragement that they gave and so very different but all of it really really special and meaningful and just knowing mm-hmm. there are so th- that cabaret is an intimate art and so there were seven of us just singing to each other each week and that was really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And with excellent guidance, just like you said, our instructors, our mentors were people that were on Broadway, people that were cabaret, just experts that had done cabaret. But I have to say something about the students too. Mm -hmm. I was amazed at the experience and the, the expertise of the students that were in our class. I learned a lot from each one of you guys. Yes, It was incredible. Yes. And people have been singing and you know, your background is really incredible too. Have you ever talked about your training? What I do? Yeah. I, that, I was opera first and then musical theater and now I'm kind of everything. So yeah. yeah, I mean, the next few months I've got an opera gig and I've got, I don't have musical theater gigs, but I've got like, you know, band gigs and things like this. And actually because of that conference, I'm like writing two shows for next year. So wow. yeah, I have to write one original show to perform um, in July, TBA. And then the other one, I don't know where I'm performing it next year, but uh, I was so inspired by everything I saw our, our teachers do and everything I know that all of you are doing that, yeah, I mean, it just gave me great ideas and I've already started you know, the work on it and it's really enjoyable. I can't talk yeah. about it yet. I don't want to give okay. away it. But if you come back here and subscribe on, you know, the Eden Castile YouTube <laughs> channel, you might hear about it. So, <laughs> okay. but in the meantime, I wanted to sing one more song as we go out. And uh, so do you want to stay in the room while I do it? I'll see. I'll be good. I'll be. Okay. Just yeah. listen. Okay. you will be good. You just listen. But this <laughs> okay. one is because Grant likes um, uh, Cole Porter so much, right? So this is for you, Grant, and for all of your friends. And uh, I know that there was a radio show that did a tribute to him, and I know that he has some other tributes coming up. But this one's just from me. Every time we say goodbye, I die a little. Every time we say goodbye, I wonder why a little. Why the gods above me, who must be in the know, think so little of me, they allow you to go. When you're near, there's such an air of spring about it. I can hear a lark somewhere begin to sing about it. There's no love song finer, but how strange the change from major to minor every time we say goodbye.
goodbye. For you, Grant. Yep. And mm-hmm. for everybody who loved him, everybody who loves Cabaret, yeah, we are grateful. So thank you, Francine. Thank you. Thank to- you, Eden. I would really appreciate you being on and talking about him because you know him best. And thank you to Ethan. Thank you to Nancy. Thank you, Dan. So we will be off next week because I'm performing live, but then we will see you back here in two weeks with Jessica Corbin live from Pennsylvania. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Make a girl happy. And good night. Good night.